I wasn't ready to make a sequel until we had a special story worthy of a sequel and until we could delve deeper into the experience of a fighter pilot. Thomas always had an incredible love for aviation and how to capture the love of aviation was very important to Tom. When Tom approaches a project, it, it's got to be perfect. And in order for this to be perfect, the aviation sequences had to be real. I'm always thinking, how do we do this in a manner that is constantly pushing our art form, action, storytelling? So we worked with the Navy and the Top Gun School to formulate how to shoot it practically. Because if we're going to do it, we're going to fly in the F-18s. Good morning, aviators. Oh. I had to sit down with the cast and say, if we're going to do it, it's going to be a very challenging time for everyone. He told me that the actors would all be in jets. And I just, I remember I got chills. None of us knew exactly what that meant at the time. I don't think any of the cast ever anticipated that we would actually be in F-18s. I think it was just like, oh, of course we're gonna go up for like a flight so you can know what it's like to be in an airplane. All right, let's go. Tom wanted it to be as close to reality as possible. And so as an actor, that's terrifying. To actually become a fighter pilot in the Navy means you've gone through years of training. To get an actor in there in a couple of months required the actors to go through a rigorous amount of training as well. You can't just put an actor inside an F-18 Super Hornet. The experience is so physically grueling that most people would pass out. Tom told us this when we first started that, you know, he was like, the only way I'll do this movie is if we're shooting a practical. And people thought he was crazy. People were like, there's no way that you're gonna get six actors up in the air and be in an F-18 going seven or 800 miles an hour. You're going too fast, man. Well, no harm in being ahead of schedule. We messed up in these jets, everybody thought it would be impossible. And I think when Tom hears that something's impossible or it can't be done, that's when he gets to work. Today we'll start with what you only think you know. Tom was really involved in just about every aspect of getting our actors ready for F-18. His passion for flying is something that I think is really contagious. And it's crucial for a film like this because this is an aviation movie to the nth degree. For the actors, I had to build a training program for them. Their understanding of radios, of flying, of being in an aircraft, being in confined spaces where it's hot. Because you have responsibilities in that F-18. You're not just going for a ride. You're actually there and you have to learn certain things in case an emergency happens. First, if you're going to fly in the F-18, it is mandated by the Navy that you go through water survival training. There's various steps that the actors must become proficient at. Don't be afraid to do it like you mean it. Do it like you're actually falling at 120 miles an hour. And they have to be able to do it. If they can't do it, they can't get in the F-18. You're not likely to drown during this training, but it's significant physical experience. We had some that were, they were very challenged. I did not know how to swim. So we went through intensive swim training with some Olympic coaches. I really enjoyed the swim training, but actually going to the testing facility in Miramar was a very different thing. The water survival training was heinous. I had a little freak out. I was petrified. I was like, okay, am I gonna be able to do this? We're about to get dunked. There's all these different contraptions and, and things that like pull you through the water and like drop you into a tank. very intense, you get blindfolded, strapped to a chair, water fills up, they submerge you, spin you upside down, you gotta get out. It's really been intense. Each of them had to go through that testing before they were cleared to go into a jet. From there, we started Tom's all-encompassing training regimen. Tom created this aviation training very generously because he knew that this is what he wished he had on the first one. As a real pilot himself, he knows better than anybody what kind of training is needed to get actors comfortable in these situations so that they can do the acting that they need to do up in the skies. We're in the infant stages right now, so just taking it step by step, and it's exciting, but it's certainly not something I'm taking lightly. 
We started out in the Cessna. It is a single engine airplane. <laughs> I needed to build up their spatial awareness inside the aircraft. We got to pretty much take off ourselves the first time. Unreal, oh my gosh. Then I took them to an extra, which is a, more of a high performance aircraft that can pull G's, go inverted, doing loops. That's amazing! Oh my god! Whoa, that is awesome! Flying like that might sound easy, but it was tough. When you're in an aircraft pulling hard maneuvers, it is intense. You're just telling yourself, don't pass out, don't pass out. It's crazy. <laughs> Next, we took them to the L-39, and they went and flew aerobatics to feel what it's like in a jet. We're training on loops, we're training on rolls. It's good. Wings level, get some speed. Wow. Like the first turn, it was like two Gs I felt. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. At this point, we started working on the formation flying so that they're used to having other aircraft around them. <laughs> Ride of my free in life. From there, they'd graduate to the F-18 Super Hornet, which is what the Navy flies uh, for real off aircraft carriers. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. First day, uh, all of us together, very exciting. This is why we do it. Being in an F-18 is unreal. This has some power. It's like being strapped on to a dragon. That was my favorite thing I've ever done in my entire life. We were able to do a lot of the stuff that I've been learning on the extra, except on the F-18, which is absolutely insane. It feels so different to be in the cockpit than to be watching one go by. The intensity is just so much more palpable. And that's where we started really learning what the physical toll is. It's physically grueling being in there and pulling those Gs. It's exhausting. One G is your body weight. So two Gs is two times your body weight. Three Gs is three times your body weight. You'll be pulling up to eight Gs in some of the maneuvers, which means eight times the force of gravity pulling down on your body. Not only is that like 1,600 pounds of force, but it's actually pulling the blood out of your brain. In order to not pass out, you have to clench and sometimes breathe in a specific way to keep the blood in your head. That was intense. The things that we did up there, you can't fake it on a sound stage. You can't fake the G-force distorting your face. There's not too much acting going on. You're just, you're trying to not pass out, not puke. Oh! But that's the gift that Tom gave us, that by the time we got up there, we could handle it. Let's go! No turning back now. <laughs> Nobody thought we'd be able to do this for actors to really be in the jets. We're extremely lucky to have been guided through by Tom. Definitely the most amazing thing I've ever done. All the training, 100% prepared us. The actors have worked hard. They did in four to six months what the average naval aviator does over the course of almost two years. I thought one of them would tap out. I thought for sure at least one would tap out. Nobody tapped out. I lost the bet. First, no, no, no! Each of the actors was up for the challenge. I'm sure a few of them were nervous, but at the same time, they were really excited. It truly is the kind of movie they don't make anymore. I'm very proud of what we all accomplished. And we know what it took to deliver for the audience something that they've never seen before.